In the version 2 update for both Brizzy Cloud and the Brizzy WordPress plugin, a new functionality has been introduced called syncing. We're going to dissect it because I think you really need to understand what syncing does at this moment before you just think you want to use it. I think the first thing we need to understand is what is being synced. Here I've got, you see, I've got the little WordPress up here. This is a WordPress installation with Brizzy. And then over here is Cloud. And where you will find the syncing is within the block manager or your media manager library for the platform. If I go here to add a new block in WordPress, you see the familiar interface for this block manager. We have layouts here, blocks, saved and global blocks. When you click on layouts, you get the normal layouts that you can load. The syncing happens over in saved. Here you will see you have blocks and you have layouts and currently I've got nothing here. So this part, my saved section is completely empty. Then over here, I have an option to connect. The question is connect what, right? And the answer to that is connect your Brizzy account. So if you have signed in, that your account name will be the one that you're going to be using here. But let's have a look then first at save, normal save, because this has also changed a little bit. I'll go back into WordPress and I've got this hero banner here. And what I want to do is I want to save it for this website and this website only, but I maybe want to apply it on other pages. So think again what I said, this website only. So I want to save it here only. If you want to use it only for this installation and nowhere else, and you cannot imagine using it anywhere else, then you don't need to sync it. And for that, you need to make sure you actually don't connect your account. Go to the block settings up here, and as usual, the save functions appear here in the options toolbar. But whereas before, when you clicked on it, it would just save automatically to the block manager. Now it's going to do the following. Click on it, and it's going to ask you to sync to cloud. So you're going to add your email address here. I don't even know if I have a username, but it works with your email address and your password. And after you've done that, it will connect and it will save it like usual. But again, I want to remind you that you don't need to sync it. You don't want to sync it. You don't want to use it in cloud. You don't want to use it anywhere else. And if that is the case, you simply click on skip. It's going to save it like normal. You see the spinning wheels. Go again to add a new block, go to saved, and you will see that block is there. You're not going to be syncing it across your platforms, but this is how you will be saving blocks and layouts for specific installations only. Right, that is instance number one, just your normal save. And you need to understand that before we get to the syncing so you can see the difference that's going to come in. Let's delete it and close out here. Now you say to yourself, man, I've created such an awesome block and I want to have it for the future. I want to use it on maybe other pages and I think I don't want to design it again from the beginning, so it would be great to have it in my library across WordPress and Brizzy Cloud so that I can load it anytime I want. And that's where the syncing is going to come in. Let's do it again. Go to the block settings, click here. And now it's not going to ask you because you have already selected skip. So it's not going to do that. If it was your first instance, you can add your account from that splash screen we had seen. If like in this case, I had already told it to skip, now you simply go to the block manager by adding a new block, go to saved, and then you connect via this option here. So I'm going to click on connect and you see the same splash screen comes up. You add your email, you add your password and you're in. That's what I'm going to do now. Connect. And once it connects, it's going to make a few changes around here. You will see that there is now an option to disconnect, to sync now, and that that little cloud icon has got that little check mark in the green circle, telling you that uh, you are connected to your account. The other thing that's going to happen is that you will see this little 
icon appears here in the thumbnail of that block, showing you the syncing status of this block. It is not synced, and if I click on that little thing, nothing's going to happen. That's not something you can interact with. You have to click over here, Sync Now. Click on Sync Now, and Brizzy is going to think a little bit, go through the motions. It will say Success Sync, and you will have the check over there. Absolutely stunning. And you're going to be able to do that with layouts. Anything that is here in your saved library, you can do that. So where does this go? We'll have a look at it very soon. Let's close out here. Let's just create another block quickly from one of these. We bring in this one. We do the same. Because we have connected our account now, you don't have the option now to decide you only want it on this installation or you want it in the cloud. It's an either or. Once you are locked into your account, you're locked in. That's not the end of the world. That's fine. Go to the block settings. Click on save, the spinning wheels of miracles happen again, and it saves it into your block manager. Let's go have a look. Add a new block, go to saved, and you will see that we have our two blocks here. One is sync and one ain't. When you click on sync now, it's going to sync that one again. And it says success, sync, sync success. Shoo, sync success, success, sync. Shouldn't it be sync success, success synced? Mm. Now, what has happened here? Essentially, the moment you connect your saved area here, this becomes a universal library across all your platforms. If you were to go to another WordPress installation and you also connect your account, these blocks are also going to appear in that account. And if you make many, and you connect them all with your account, everything that you sync is going to appear across all those devices. This is a major thing you have to understand because if you are working with clients who have access to your safe library and you connect this to your account, they're going to see all your creations across your devices. The idea though here actually is that you get the opportunity to sync this to cloud. So let's go see if this had happened. Now, what's going to happen in cloud, and I should have shown you that at the beginning first, is that within cloud, you are automatically synced. There is no signing in because you are already signed in to your account. If I click here on start building your page and I click here on save, you're going to see that those two that we have just created and synced and saved, they are automatically here synced to these two. And you will see that you do not have the option to log in, log out, or even click sync here. All of those features are done automatically in the cloud. And now I simply just click on this one. It will load it and bring it in. Voila, it's a miracle. Now, this is great. If you want to have those things that you've created and work with them across platform, but there are major considerations that you will need to think carefully about when you do decide to sync. When creating a client site in Brizzy WordPress and you have this library that you are syncing, you have the option to come back and click on disconnect, which means now all of this is disconnected and the client won't have access to all of your designs. If it's your own personal sites, your own personal content, and you're the only one access to that installation in WordPress, who cares, right? You can do what you want. But here is what you have to be very much aware of. I'll go back to my Brizzy Cloud here. And what I'm going to do is for this instance of Brizzy Cloud, I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go to the dashboard. And this was a random test. This one that I use here. I'll choose any other project. So unrelated to my previous project, if I say add new block and I go to save, it's there. Okay, this is very important to understand because if I close out here, go back to dashboard, and I go to another project, completely different project. So let's say this one called move account, move test, click on this one. And then I say add a new block, saved. They are there. This is extremely important to understand because you may be creating projects and giving different teams access to those projects. But in Brizzy Cloud, whatever you save is going to appear across 
all of your projects everywhere. That's important. You may still have some control in WordPress, but your designs are going to appear across all of them. Again, it's not the end of the world. It's something you have to decide whether you want to share it with them or not. But this is just one of those things that I think you should understand the concept, how it works. The other thing that would have been really cool, and I think this is something that they will probably bring into the future, is some kind of folder structure. At this moment, if I start saving all my layouts and blocks, I'm going to run into hundreds maybe later. There's no searchable feature. There's no tagging feature. So I don't know what is where. I would have loved to see a folder feature that we can create here in the future, maybe here on the site, and even assign project or team member access to specific folders. What we have here already is an excellent implementation of syncing across platforms. And that allows for availability of what you've designed in an instance. That is really great. Now we just need the organization that will be really, really cool. And I hope that this is still developed in much bigger context than it is currently implemented. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be the case. Before we end with the syncing feature, what happens if I delete one of these two, for example, here in Brizzy Cloud? And now remember that they are available across all my projects in all my folders in Brizzy Cloud. Let's take Best Street Coffee Shops and I just click here on Delete. Is it deleted across everything in Brizzy Cloud? Answer is absolutely yes. Your saved folder is applied universally. It's gone. But how about WordPress? Let's go back to WordPress. Let's close it. Let's update. Let's go and refresh our page just to make sure. We can even go out. We can come back in. Will that one also have been deleted? Let's see. Let's go to add a new block, saved, and it's loading, syncing. Mm -hmm. It's also gone here. And that means that if by mistake or on purpose, you delete anything in Brizzy Cloud, any of your devices synced still to the cloud will also sync and delete that one. That is important to understand because if you do it on purpose, no problem. If you have a client that has access and they delete it randomly or again on purpose, it's gone. The other problem is that if I click here on delete, there is no, are you sure? <laughs> it's gone as well. There's no stopping this guy over here. You're not going to be able to say, hey, wait, don't sync. It's going to sync the moment you come back, click on add a new block and click on save. Absolutely amazing that we have this technology and this concept for people who both use Brizzy WordPress plugin and Brizzy Cloud Pro. This is very nice because what I like about Brizzy Cloud, it gives me quick access to the builder. I can sit anywhere. I can be in a coffee shop on a small little laptop or something. And if I have a moment of inspiration or just want to work, that means I can draft everything within Brizzy Cloud and have my framework ready to go. Then I can save the layout, I can save the block, and I can sync it while it automatically syncs in cloud. And then when I get home or when I sit down and I log into my WordPress and I start working with it, I can sync it and then I can bring it in and then voila, wonderful, it's there. And I think actually something I should have mentioned at the beginning is that do not get confused with website sync. And that is something that you do on your live site can be synced across devices. And I think that is what a lot of people understood syncing may mean. For example, I create this page here and then I sync it to something similar on WordPress and everything I make changes here will also sync on WordPress. That's going to lead naturally to a lot of problems. The other thing that we have to take into consideration are things that can be done within WordPress. And this will be the last part of our video. Let's bring in another block like this one over here. And then let's choose something that is exclusive to WordPress. Let's see what we've got down here. Sidebar, what do I have down here that can give us something? Let's just say post title. Okay, 
We know it says home because this is my post title as a home page. I'll update that and then I'll just go save it. Update it again. Just to make sure it's locked in, locked and loaded. Let's see if we save this. We go to our saved section. And then it's not synced yet. And this would have been great if we had the option to select which ones we wanted to have synced. That you can select them and then click sync or desync, success sync. Sure, that is really a tongue twister so early in the morning. And now when we go to our Brizzy Cloud project, we'll have to click out, click back, saved. It's going to rethink it all and it's going to bring it in. Let's click here and see what it has done with that. Could not find WP post title component. This is what you have to be fully aware of, that those things that are truly only related to WordPress will not be able to display here. Your e-commerce stuff is not going to display here from WooCommerce and vice versa. When in the future, there are certain things only applicable to Brizzy Cloud, for example, the Brizzy Cloud blogging in the future or e-commerce, those will not translate into WordPress. That makes sense. Be aware of it. This is a great tool for I want to call it design syncing. If you have a framework, a wire design, and you want to set it up in one device and sync it to the other one to use it there and then make changes. But this is not a website syncing feature where you have one website and changes you make here will automatically be updated. I think it's easier to say it's not a staging area. You cannot stage it in cloud and then sync it to WordPress. That That's not how it's going to work. It's a media library syncing feature. And that brings us to the end of this video. It will give you a very good idea of what syncing is over the platforms, how it works, and whether you need it. And like I mentioned before, if you are in WordPress on a specific site installation and you're going to create something here that you do not need to sync anywhere else, you don't need to sign in. And what we can do before I show you that is actually go to saved. And what we do now is we click on disconnect. And this will disconnect you from that cloud saving. Now, if you go again here and you click on save, it's going to ask you again, do you want to sign in? And if you select skip, that's going to be a sticky memory. So next time when you bring in any other block and you click on save, you don't have to worry that it's going to go through that process. Again, it's naturally going to save it for you and it will put it in your saved library. And if you feel at one point that you want to connect this again in the future, you simply click again on connect, go through your email with your password and you will be syncing in no time.